Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, let's have a look how we can correct perspectives. First thing I like to do is to set some guidelines. You can create guidelines by dragging them from the ruler. If the ruler is not enabled for you, you can enable it from the view menu. Let's start by setting two guidelines, one for the left and the other for the right. To correct the perspective, we will use the perspective tool. But before making any changes, let me duplicate the original layer as the perspective tool is destructive. Now, let's select the perspective tool from the toolbar. I'm going to use the single plane mode and drag the handles on the top until the buildings look straight. Looks pretty good already. I want to make sure that the building in the middle is also as straight as possible. So I will position some guidelines there to check this. I have a feeling the left side is not completely straight. So let's move a guideline there and apply the perspective tool again to straighten it. The bottom side of the left building still does not feel straight. I can use the perspective tool again, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the warp tool to give you an idea how you can fix small local incorrections. With the warp tool selected, add some points around the area you want to move. This is because we don't want the whole image to move. Then add a point to the position you want to fix. In this case, I will move it a little bit more to the left. Almost done. One thing I like to do with images like this is to check where the perspective is leading us. Sadly, Affinity does not support rotated guidelines, so I will draw some lines following the perspective from the building. To speed things up a little bit, I also created some lines for the left side earlier. It's very interesting to see that the focal point is around the entrance of the main building. To make the perfect composition, I will make sure that the main building is centered correctly, so the entrance will be indeed the focal point. I will move a guideline here, so I can use this later. This also gives me an opportunity to show the dual plane mode of the perspective tool. Select source from the dropdown and position the center line so it is at one side of the main building. Now time to switch to destination mode. I will now move the center line so that it is centered on the guideline I put earlier. Perfect. Let's have a look what a difference that made by enabling and disabling this layer. It's a subtle difference but definitely balances the image. And we are done with the perspective correction. Now you could do some cleanup for this image for example, using the in-paint tool and remove the cables and also some coloring. If you spend a little bit of time, you can get an image like this. Let's have a look at the before and the after. Pretty awesome. I hope you liked this video and thanks again for watching.